Hi everyone, it's Mr. Burns and we're going to go over the Unit 4 vocabulary. Our Unit 4 is called Overseas Expansion and it kind of leads us into World War One, which we'll be talking about later uh, in 2021. So um, I want to just review with you the procedures. Remember to watch this video. Uh, after you watch this video, you gain some background knowledge, some perspective about each word. Then you're going to create the your definition example synonym column. And you can do any one of those things for any any word. Make sure those definitions are shorter, they're brief, they're just ways to help you remember it. You don't have to rewrite the entire definition word for word in your own words, but just kind of summarize it. Uh, you can summarize it with a synonym, you can summarize it with an example as well, if uh, there's an example I talked about in the presentation. Then you have to insert an image. So picture, visual, or image. You can go to, you can use a Google search function right inside of Google which I can show you right now, insert image, search the web, right? You can do that, or you can actually take one from uh, Google Images. Uh, make sure you use a different one from the one on this presentation. All right. Annexation is our first word. You're gonna have 10 words this uh, unit. It's a pretty short unit. We'll finish it in January. Uh, annexation, you're basically, it's, it's adding. To annex is to add it and make it your own. So you're adding a new land or territory, like when we annex Puerto Rico, or we annex the Philippines, or we annex Hawaii, or we annex uh, Alaska, and make them our own. Uh, capitalism is our economic system that we generally have, and it's based on private ownership of the resources of production. So the people, um, the workers, the individuals own the resources of production, and we sell those resources through uh, our labor. And in exchange, we get from a business or from the government, we get an hourly wage or a salary, right? And then they use those resources to make products or make goods. And then they sell them, uh, you know, we use that income that we make from the job to buy products that are made from the government or from businesses. So that's, uh, that's capitalism. And we're going to try to spread capitalism throughout uh, the Western Hemisphere in this unit. Uh, diplomacy, we're going to talk about uh, Theodore Roosevelt's big stick policy, and we're talking about, uh, maybe I mentioned uh, dollar diplomacy by Taft and moral diplomacy by Wilson uh, through this unit, and it's basically negotiations between countries to try to solve something, solve an issue or a dispute. A doctrine, a doctrine is a document uh, that maybe has states principles or mainly dealing with foreign affairs. We're gonna talk about the Monroe Doctrine, this unit, and what that document, um, and what that means to our country in, in terms of how we see ourselves in the Western Hemisphere. Exploitation is to take advantage of someone or something or a situation for your own benefit, usually, or improve your own position. So the United States is going to exploit some different uh, areas of the world and some different countries for their own benefit, um, for the benefit of our, our citizens, um, in order to uh, help us economically, especially. Imperialism, that's another uh, important word for this unit because the United States is going to go from an isolationist country where we're kind of keeping to ourselves to an imperialist country where we're um, expanding our power, expanding our military, um, getting involved with other nations and other parts of the world for our benefit. Um, so we're going to do that through whether it's diplomacy or military force. And then, like I mentioned, isolationism is the policy that we had and that we're going to have after World War I for a little bit. But basically, it's kind of keeping to ourselves non-participation in political affairs and in, in political relations and world events, trying to keep to ourselves and just focus on us. It's kind of like, you know, I'm single, I'm focusing on me. Okay, that's isolationism. All right, revolution is an upheaval. Uh, it's where it's where usually the citizens lead a revolt against the current government to install some other form of government, usually the opposite um, form. If one person's in charge, they want democracy, or if one party's in charge, they want to get a different party in there. Um, sometimes radical and violent. Um, in order to change that status quo, how things are. That's a revolution. We're talking about the Cuban Revolution. We're talking the Spanish American War, this unit. Uh, sovereignty, the ability of a country or state to govern itself. We're going to talk about some of these nations that the United States gets involved with in the Western Hemisphere and also out in the, in the Pacific and 
into how they can, you know, govern themselves. Like the power of the people, that's like uh, consent to the government, sovereignty, freedom, individual freedom and independence. Uh, yellow journalism is our last vocab word. So this is a use of exaggerated, sensationalized ideas. Uh, the main goal is, of course, to sell newspapers. And, and But really what it has is an effect of, um, of causing kind of panic and causing, you know, rumors to start about what's going on. Uh, in, in a political situation. And part of the Spanish-American War, one of the causes is this idea that the ship was sank uh, called the Maine. And we're going to talk about that next unit and what really happened. And we're going to maybe investigate that a little bit. What really happened with the Maine and who, who's to blame and who did it and how did it happen? All right, so that should be it. That's 10 words. You can always rewatch this video if you need to. Make sure you create your own definitions. Uh, make sure they are summarized and make sure they are um, in your own words, and then make sure the, vi the visuals are different from the ones I used. All right, if you have any questions, send me an email or ask me during class. Thank you.